Hello people, my name is Kevin and welcome to Wanna Watch a Movie. Thank you so very much for joining me. Tonight I'm going to be continuing with the Percy Jackson series on Disney+. Plus. I am so excited again. Once again, I have my mandatory Percy uh, Camp Half-Blood t-shirt. Um, by the way, I apologize if there's a... It's pouring rain like crazy right now. And so uh, I don't know if it's coming, if the audio is coming through on the mic. But if there's like a little bit of like background noise uh, that isn't usually there, it's because of that. I'll see if I can fix it in post-production, but uh, sorry if I can't. If there's a little bit of background noise, sorry about that. I'm so, so impressed with this show so far. The first two episodes were great. I'm pretty sure the next episode we're gonna be seeing Medusa, gonna get the first part of the quest. Gonna see Percy, Annabeth, and Grover all together for the first time, and that's... Dream come true, dream come true. If you like the video, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Uh, I really do appreciate each and every single one. It means the world to me. If you want to support the channel further, you can join my Patreon. Link is in the description below. That'll get you access to a Discord server where you can chat directly with me about movies if you want. And you'll get access to polls so you can vote on what to watch next. And you'll get early, early access to my YouTube edits and full length reactions as well, if that's your thing, and on over there. And so, without further ado, <laughs> episode three. Here we go, let's get started. Uh, by the way, mandatory spoiler warning for everything, basically. Like, I know everything that happens in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, everything that happens in Heroes of Olympus. I, I cannot, and I cannot watch this without spoiling stuff, so... Sorry, but consider yourself warned. Alright, here we go, episode three. We visit the Garden Gnome Emporium. Here we go! Did you see what happened to my mom? I'm Annabeth. Annabeth! You have been claimed by Poseidon. But if he doesn't return the master bolt, there will be war. Your mother was stolen by Hades. I think you can bring her back. When do we leave? When do we leave? Yeah, boy loves his mom. Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Oracle? Are we getting the Oracle? The Oracle of Delphi? What's it gonna look like? In the book, it's like a mummy or something, I think. Is that another, the other Minotaur horn? Or I'm sure there's a lot of Easter eggs around here for all that. And they get in this room. I'm Percy. I was told a quest isn't a quest until you've said so. Come on, give us the prophecy. Uh. You seem busy. I'll come back. <laughs> yep, just nope out of there, man. Got the green smoke, too. Appreciating all the details from the books. Oh. Really? You shall go west and face Game? the god who has turned. And you shall find what was stolen and see it safely, safely returned. returned. The Oracle has confirmed what we expected. Not gonna say the rest? That can't be it. Where's the rest of it? The entrance to Hades' domain lies under the city of Los Angeles. Of course it does. I have selected our most compelling candidates, from which you will choose two to join you on this quest. There's Luke. Annabeth. <laughs> hey. Are you sure you don't want to hear more? <laughs> if the mission required someone to push me down a flight of stairs for it to succeed, you want someone who won't hesitate when they do it. <laughs> Great logic, I guess. Quest mate shall be Annabeth Chase. Finally gets her quest. Now on to the other candidate. Grover, 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 the bestie. And shovel and manure. Dude, what have you been eating? I'm not trying to antagonize you. The talking horses. He, Percy can talk to horses. I cannot wait to hear. How are they going to do it? How are they gonna do blackjack swearing? Is that blackjack? Hey, sorry, I missed your selection ceremony. Mr. D wasn't too happy you told me about my mom. No, who'd you choose to go with you? You. No, seriously, who'd you choose? I chose you. Why? You shall be betrayed by the one who calls you friend and fail. To save, to save what, matters what matters most in the, in the end. In the end. I trust you. There's no way girl was gonna betray him, yeah. I'm gonna pack the best snacks. <laughs> I remember there were six lines to it. There was only four. Ah, uh, Luke and the do? shoes. Two hundred dollars in cash and a bag of these. I think they're Canadian, maybe, <laughs> or from Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know. <laughs> they're golden drachmas. <laughs> Dollars for human world, drachmas for mythic world. Don't mix them up. Chuck E. Cheese. I brought you this. The shoes. Maya. A gift from my dad, Maya. 
Nice. It's like it grew out of the shoelaces. I thought about choosing you before I chose Grover. Hey, Grover's a lot stronger than people think. I was afraid. I have a chance to rescue my mom. I can't let anything stop me. If it gets in the way of the quest, Annemeth might try to. He told me he'll always be on her side no matter what, and... It's okay. I get it. I feel like we don't give Percy enough credit for being a good strategist. He's a smart kid. <gasps> Thalia! And... Oh... When Annabeth first arrived here with Thali and Luke, they were being chased by monsters. Thalia turned back to fight to buy her friends some time. Her satyr protector tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. Zeus intervened to save her life and changed her form. The most powerful being in the universe's best idea to save his daughter's life was to turn her into a tree. Yeah, that was a really she dumb move, yeah. She was the bravest demigod I ever knew. And she met a hero's fate. She met a pinecone's fate. Do exactly as I say, and maybe you survive this. Are we clear? They're gonna fall in love. Who do you think would be in charge? I guess I assumed we'd do a show of hands or something. <laughs> Heroes quests are world-defining events. Change the balance of power Empire on State. Olympus. There it is. And you're starting off by going to the Port Authority bus terminal. And to be charged with one is to be in conversation with the gods themselves. <laughs> oh, that was quite the transition. Why didn't Chiron spring for plane tickets? Zeus might decide to take a shot at you himself. The sky is his domain. He'd be serving you up on a silver platter to try to travel through it. No one mentioned that. No one tells this kid anything. No wonder he's clueless all the time. I'm gonna go get us some snacks. I'll come with you. No, you'll stay right there. Monsters can't smell you through that. So that's where I want you. I want to vote. There's no voting. Chips and soda's okay for you guys? I don't think you should just get to decide we don't vote. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to vote on whether you get to decide we don't. Over, please. Can you help your... I love her so much. What are you? Oh, golly. The road's getting bumpy because I got me some friends who just can't get along. <laughs> Trick to getting through it is singing this Dude, song. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's a consensus song. You get a few rounds in, and you'd be amazed at how disagreements just kind of fade away. I would kill for Grover. Chips and sodas okay for you guys? Whatever. Yes, please. Our voting system's broken. Yeah, right, getting candy. Can she just not decide? All right, getting them all. Oh shit, that was her, wasn't it? The trick is to spot them first before they spot you. Oh, balls. <laughs> You're in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger! And they're on the back of a bus. Up oh, there she is. Up and turn invisible in front of everyone. Alright, things are about to get messy. If you guys were better at your job, I might not have noticed you here so easily. Oh, she's sitting next to him. Hers, there might not be a family of squirrels making her their home. Is that why Hades sent you here? To gloat over a job you almost did right once? <laughs> Bold, Annabeth. Antagonizing th them. Pride of Athena's offspring. Perhaps the most formidable demigod child alive. Why are you here? High praise. I'm here to collect your friend. Bring him in quick and quiet. That is what I was told. Lure him off this bus where I can take him quietly away from so many eyes, and your quest goes on unimpeded and unburdened. Some children must learn the hard way. Look, I'm not against the idea of consensus. I'm just not sure the song is doing what you think it is. Guys, you need to open that window. Now! Still talking about the song. Oh, fuck. Everyone, leave your belongings and exit the front of the bus. Is it really just her? There's supposed to be three of them. Up, there's me. <gasps> the knife! The knife! We're done here. Knife. Let's go! The curse blade. Somewhere up ahead, this turns into a satyr path. It's a road through the wilderness. Satyr explorers use them. If we stay in the wilderness, how are we going to find a phone? What do we need a phone for? So we can call camp? We don't need help. We're fine. You're about to run into Gorgon. We haven't even gotten to Trenton, and we're wandering through a forest. I didn't even know I had forest in New Jersey. I would say we're the opposite of fine. What do you think it would be easy? It's supposed to be hard. If we call camp, we're basically saying it was a mistake to choose us. I'm completely comfortable with that. But she isn't. Why are you so afraid of who you are? Do you know what's interesting about this particular Seder path is it's actually the one my Uncle Ferdinand took. Uncle Ferdinand, yep. I'm not afraid. You aren't just a kid. Just a kid doesn't have Haiti sending top lieutenants to retrieve them. You know, you are part of something so much bigger than we can understand right now. At least let's call your mom. Dina? I'd call my father, but we aren't exactly on speaking terms. You know, because of the lifelong neglect and all, but... <laughs> Why don't we ask her for help? Grover, will you explain to your friend that he needs to pull himself together? No one tells him anything, okay? When was the last time she talked to you? Grover, 
I don't know why you keep pulling him into this. He's on yeah, my side. Seriously, what yeah. makes you think that? He's my protector. It's his job. He was my protector first. What do you mean first? Very exciting getting to walk in Uncle Ferdinand's footsteps. Great job evading the question, Grover. That was you. He figures this out much later in the Did book. Hamburgers. And here we go. The Garden Gnome Emporium. And here we go. There it is. Oh, and they're not alone. Come on. Auntie M has a garden full of petrified stone folks. Anyone want to guess what M is short for? Does she figure it out immediately? Let's get out of here. Please, while we still can. Oh, balls. You should have accepted my offer when you had the chance. Offer? What offer is she talking about? Not today, friends. Not on my doorstep. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. Oh, shoot. If you have something to resolve, why not come inside and I'll help? She won't bother you as long as you're with me. But it isn't as though she'll leave either. Not if it means reporting that she failed to retrieve the son of Poseidon. Don't look. Child Don't look. Died. It's a pleasure to meet you, son of Poseidon. I'm Medusa. This is playing out differently. She's a monster. We all choose who we make our monsters, but right now, that one wants to tear you limb from limb, and I'm offering you lunch. Choice is yours. I think we can trust her. What? Dude, no! I can't my mom used to tell me her story. She isn't what people think, and I definitely trust my mom. Uh, I like, I kind of like this change that they're making. I don't know how it's gonna play out. I meant it's gonna play out the same way, but I'm intrigued. I left snacks on the table while I get something proper going. That isn't something proper. That's a pretty wow. That's a lot of food. You think it's safe to eat? I'm really hungry, and I'm ready to take that chance. <laughs> This isn't the same for me as it is for you. You're concerned I would hold a grudge against you simply because you are a daughter of Athena. And you and I might have more in common than you think. So very interesting. A very interesting deviation from the book. I appreciate it. I like it. So you're not a monster. What are you then? A survivor. You must be a little more than that. It's a fury out there that seems terrified of you. The gift the gods gave me is that I cannot be bullied anymore. What my mother did to you wasn't a gift. It was a curse. Dude, I think she knows that. You stand by her. Always. And so did I. Don't stand by them when they're wrong. Do you know the story of how I came to be this way? Athena was everything to me. I prayed to her. I made offerings. She never answered. Not even an omen to suggest she appreciated my love. I wasn't like you, sweetheart. I was you. One day, another god came and he broke that silence. The sea god told me that he loved me. Athena declared that I had embarrassed her and I needed to be punished. Not him, he. She decided that I would never be seen again by anyone who would live to tell the tale. That isn't what happened. My mother is just, always. The gods want you to believe that, that they are infallible. She's so much more sympathetic. They want us to blame ourselves for their own shortcomings. That is not what happened. And you are a liar. Don't say Annabeth. Would you give me a hand in the kitchen? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Get ready to run. There's still the small matter of the, you know, fury right outside. She's going to betray you. No, she isn't. They always do. I don't think she's like that. Then you will be an easy mark for her when the time comes. Your mother and I, we're like sisters in a way, targeted by the same monster. So I find myself feeling protective of you. My mom never talked about my dad that way. Where is she now? Is she safe? She's not. And do you trust your friends to help you to make her safe? Will they let you make her safe if it conflicts with their quest? I see what they're doing with this episode. They're introducing their fatal flaws. Help you remove them from the equation? No. If you ask me to. And he's already gone. Oh dear, here we go. She's a very lovely voice, by the way. Are they gonna keep her face blurred the entire time? Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, I just I was just thinking that'd be that'd be an interesting choice so that even the audience doesn't see her head on. This wasn't in the book. Statue storage. Come on. Find a reflection. Here's the plan. I'll draw her attention as soon as you hear me say Maya. You guys start. To, oh boy. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, ah, off, down. You say Maya again. So we're gonna need a new plan. Yeah. No shit. Find a reflection. You could choose to save your mother instead of doing your father's bidding. When I ship your statues to Olympus. Oh, so she gives him the idea to send the. Let's have a look at you. Ooh. Ooh, that was smart. 
that wasn't in the book. That was smart. Great plan, actually. Keep your eyes closed, eyes closed, eyes closed. You found it? Hope so. Make sure it's pointing in the right direction before you take my hat off. These two? Sorry, every little interaction between these two is gonna make me lose it. Oh, oh, he's gonna... Nice. She's gonna fall in love with him. Oh yeah, his Uncle Ferdinand. Over. I'm so sorry. This is as far as he got on his quest. He's not like the others. He, he doesn't look afraid. Oh, uh, we probably should get going. What are we gonna do with the head? We can't just leave it for someone to find. Leave the hat on and bury it in the basement. That ought to keep it safe. You're not gonna make her leave her hat? Can we talk about the bigger issue here? You could have saved your mother. Is your mother still alive? She's with Hades. What are you actually doing on this quest? And why did I have to hear about this from Medusa? You should have accepted my offer. What's that about, do you think? And why do we have to hear it from Electa? Enough! The hat was a gift from her mother. It's the only thing she's ever possessed that connects them. That ought to matter to you. His mom's alive. Can you imagine how confusing that must be for him? Feeling like he may have to choose between the fate of the world and the fate of the only person who's ever cared about him. Thank you, Grover. Voice of reason. All day, I've been trying to keep keep this quest on track without upsetting either of you. But maybe things need to get a little upsetting before they move forward. Yeah. She asked you a question back in the woods and you've never really answered. What are you so afraid of? The Oracle said one of you would betray me. Not one of you. You shall be betrayed by one who calls you a friend and you shall fail to save what matters most in the end. I chose her because I couldn't imagine we'd ever be friends. And I chose you because I thought if I can count on anyone to be on my side, no matter what, it was you. I got news for you, kid. Electo offered to help our quest if I gave you up to her. What did you say? No, of course. I killed her sister. Medusa offered to help me save my mom if I turned to the two of you. Loyalty. You I got off her head. Already so late. I think I've got a better idea what to do with this. Hermes Express. She ships these things all over. Some of it goes to Olympus. You can't ship Medusa's head to Olympus. Yes, you can. And you will. Because the gods won't like it? At all. They will see this as impertinent. I am impertinent. He is impertinent. She's got serious beef with your mom. When you look at it that way, this seems kind of like tribute or something. This way, part of your mom's still with us. Thank you. There are actual dangers involved here that cannot be... Consensus song. <laughs> Sing it. Start singing it. Okay. Oh, golly. The road's getting Whatever. bumpy. Consensus. <laughs> I love this show so much. Okay, get it being delivered. 600th floor. The gods Mount Olympus with death wishes first. <laughs> Lin Manuel Miranda, Alexander Hamilton. Are we gonna? Oh, okay. I thought we were maybe gonna see Olympus already. <laughs> I love this show so much. Once again, my face is hurting like a. It's hurting like crazy. Okay, preview. Here we go. The the chimera. Never helped me before. He wasn't gonna start now. Oh, the hole, and he's gonna plunge to his death. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, that was great. That was fantastic. Again, a few things I didn't anticipate. I didn't anticipate in the beginning with the uh, the Oracle. First of all, I'm glad they kept that. I know I mentioned in the when I watched episode two, it was weird to me that they didn't mention the Oracle yet. But I'm glad I'm glad they I'm glad they kept that. The Oracle was a pretty damn important thing, especially later. People who read the book, you know. I'm kind of surprised that it took the form of Gabe, who wants to see that guy ever. I didn't expect that they would make us sympathize with Medusa, but then again, come to think of it, yeah, her story always kind of was pretty fucked up. Like she really got screwed over for basically doing nothing wrong. And I like that they take that approach with her character. It's much more interesting than her just being a, uh, just another monster of the week kind of a deal in the book, which I like. Add a little bit more dimension to things. Electo offering Annabeth a deal and uh, Medusa offering Percy a deal and they both turn it down because for different reasons. Electo trying to prey on uh, Annabeth's her, fa her fatal flaw is supposed to be hubris, but I feel like they're making it more like self-righteousness, which kind of, she kind of demonstrated during that exchange with Medusa at the dinner table, which fits, it fits for her character too. It, I, feel, I feel like that can work. And they demonstrated Percy's fatal flaw, which is loyalty. Like this kid would literally 
what was it Athena said in uh, in the book? Um, to save a friend, you would sacrifice the world. Uh, something like that. I'm paraphrasing it, I think. This kid is the most loyal guy ever. I find it really funny, the whole, like, I picking someone who I can't imagine we would ever be friends. <laughs> Kid, I have news for you, man. In five seasons, kid, you are going to be so ride or die for her, you're gonna turn down godhood. Those two are going to be so fucking down bad for each other. It'll be insane and it will be glorious. I can't, I can't wait, I can't wait for it. And Grover just trying to play peacekeeper between the two of them this whole time and the whole consensus song thing was hilarious. I love it, I love it. Hang on a sec, something just occurred to me. Medusa's whole curse thing, being able to turn people into stone. Does that work on gods? Cause like, I'm kind of curious, like at what power level does that? There's no way that worked permanently on Electo, I don't think. She's gonna come back. I mean, what would it do if, what would it do if like Hermes just decided to open that in the elevator or something? I don't know, I find myself weirdly curious about that now. I don't know if you can hear the, do you hear, let me know in the comments, somebody let me know in the comments. Do you hear the rain outside? Like it's loud enough that it might keep me up at night tonight. Damn it, I had another thought, I'm just trying to fucking remember it now. Talked about Grover being Peacekeeper, the consensus song. Yeah, okay, I remember now. I do like that they, they are all so very age accurate, you know? That like, they're 12, they're kids. Well, except for Grover, Grover's 24. Annabeth still, she gets a lot of candy at the, at the rest stop and Percy just, makes his decision on uh, on who to go on the quest with based on just, okay, you seem to know what you're doing, so smart girl, you can come. My best buddy. That's like middle schoolers working on a group project level th level of thought, which I know, I'm, I know I'm being a little reductive there, but like, and I know Percy is smarter than that, and he actually strategized a little bit, you know, in light of the prophecy that he was just given. But on its surface, that's what it looks like which I really like, I really appreciate. All of it, none of this comes as a surprise, a surprise, obviously just because I've read all the books. But still, it's just, it's such an interesting experience just seeing it come to life like this, you know? I feel so happy about it. And my face is hurting still from smiling way too much, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Thank you so very much for joining me. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And if you're interested in supporting this channel more, you can join, the, join my Patreon, link is in the description below, once again. I appreciate each and every single one. It really, really does mean the world to me. I know I sound like a broken record, I keep saying that. But it really does mean a lot to me. So without further, no. Sorry, it's late, I'm tired. Thank you again for watching, and as usual, there's more stuff coming soon. So I will see you later, have a good one.